Hey everyone, it's Vivi, and welcome back. You're maybe familiar with the promotional Sly Cooper comics. There were two of them. Issue number one was released in 2004. The story in this one happens between the end of Sly 1 and before the events of Sly 2. Issue number two was released in 2005. The story of this one happens between the end of Sly 2 and before the events of Sly 3. Both these comics are canon, meaning these stories actually do happen within the Sly Cooper timeline. These were published by DC Comics and Game Pro Magazine. Sucker Punch actually worked on these. There were two variations, a pre-release digital version on Sucker Punch's website, which you could download, and another being physical. Dialogue and text might have differed between the two versions. So right now, you probably, maybe, have an idea of where this video is headed. Yep, the comics. Well, issue number two to be more precise. To add some background here, let's mention Mick Sweeney. Mick Sweeney was the muscle of Sly's father's gang. According to the events depicted on here, Mick Sweeney turned himself in after his gang got dismantled. Dr. M went on to, you know, try and infiltrate the Cooper vault, Sly's father, who we call Connor. Okay, let me just say this, the name Connor was shown in the collection's official strategy guide, because sometimes I do get the question, hey, where did you get that name Connor for Sly's father? As I was saying, Connor met his unfortunate end. Sly's parents were murdered by the Fiendish Five. Sly eventually sneaks into Heathrow Penitentiary. Mick Sweeney was trying to reach out to a Cooper via career pigeons. This has been going on for weeks, so Sly naturally got curious. Mick Sweeney doesn't recognize Sly at first. Things get a bit violent until Mick Sweeney realizes that this guy really is Sly Cooper, that kid he would bounce on his knee between jobs. This is where the Cooper Vault actually came into play, setting up the events of Sly 3. Sly realizes that the map to this vault, which holds the family's loot, is hidden inside a museum in Italy. And now, ladies and gents, you probably know what level or episode even I'd like to see in a new Sly game. The Heathrow Penitentiary. It's as simple as that. We don't know much of uh, McSweeney's status, and that alone could act as enticement, a reason for one of our characters to visit this place again. But this time, in an actual game with gameplay. Just imagine the possibilities they could do with such a level. Now look, we've had missions inside prisons in the series, Sly 2, for example, rescuing Sly from Contessa, the same goes for Murray, breaking out Tennessee Kit Cooper in Thieves in Time. Sure, we've had a bit of that theme here and there, but imagine this. I'll be using Sly as an example. For whatever reason, Sly would need to contact Mick Sweeney again. This time, things don't go according to plan. Someone causes a massive prison break. And whoever this person is, they decide to blow up the place, allowing a good number of criminals to escape or even be recruited, for whatever reason that may be. As we've seen in comic issue number two, some bad guys we've faced in the past were in there. Some of them made it out one way or another, but others like Raleigh or Miss Ruby, we never found out about their status later on in the series. Now picture you controlling Sly in a building crumbling down, somewhere with maximum security crumbling down with fire sprouting left and right. Just think of how this sort of gameplay and exploration would feel like on current gen. That feeling in your controller to complete sound engineering. Sly Cooper on current gen could also benefit from deeper narrative, have Sly talk and express his feelings during what's going on on screen. If Sly were to go back, surely he'd wonder of Mick Sweeney's status, like he would probably think out loud or something along those lines. If such a level were to be featured in, say, Sly 5, events after Thieves in Time, you'd think, wait a minute, Sly is still stuck in Egypt. So let's pretend someone else was trying to recover information about Sly as much as possible. This person would be eager to find Sly. Other than Bentley and Murray, we have Carmelita, Sly's love interest. I think back to this quote someone made on Twitter when I tweeted. I could actually see this scenario playing out in which Carmelita wants to talk to McSweeney and get any extra info on the Cooper lineage and his old gang as much as possible, and then shortly after or during this conversation, Penelope breaks out with outside aid. The part about Penelope, she did escape jail from what we saw in Thieves in Time, but we don't know how she did it. Now, Carmelita on the job, sort of, she pretends. She needs to interrogate or question Mr. McSweeney. Her being part of Interpol, she travels to the US, yes, Heathrow Penitentiary is located in the US according to the comics. 
Carmelita, she can just simply walk in there. But like stated before, not everything goes according to plan. The place blows up. And instead of Sly, we have Carmelita trying to locate McSweeney in a building that's crumbling completely. This will be a fantastic way to give Carmelita gameplay. Question is, what would she try and get out of McSweeney? Last resort thing? Running out of leads? What do you think? Leave your thoughts in the comment section below. And as always, thank you for watching. By the way, huge thank you to my patrons for supporting the channel. It means a lot, and it really helps keep the channel moving. I appreciate it tremendously. And as always, thank you every single one of you for tuning in. And yeah, until next time.